Hey everybody, this is Ian, and I am in China. I'm about an hour outside of Guangzhou, which is a huge city in southern China, at our contract manufacturer. And I've been here about three weeks now uh, to kick off production of Misty 2. There's a few of us from the Misty team here. I've actually spent a lot of time here in China, uh, both at Sphero over the last 10 years, and of course now Misty. I'm gonna walk inside and show you something cool. All right, so these are the cuffs from our conference rooms right here. And in this room, I've spent literally two years of my life. Um, we got lots of tools for debugging Misty's. We got our teleconferencing system uh, to talk to our team back in Colorado. We got tons of parts down here from previous pilot builds. But what you guys really care about is right here a brand new production Misty 2 that I just pulled off the manufacturing line. Let's see what's inside. The first thing you're gonna notice about this box is that it's pretty heavy. It's about seven kilograms or 15 pounds. That's because we got a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of technology, the batteries, the motors. But let's, let's see what's inside. Cut it open. Misty. It comes in this really nice carrying case that you can reuse. We carry them on planes, haven't had any problems. There's two latches, fold it open. Ta da! There's Misty. Now, I just take Misty and I just pull her out by her arm. Um, some people don't like when I do that. Our official way is you can tilt the packaging up like this and she slips out a little bit easier. Um, we got the charging pad right here that allows her to charge wirelessly. Pull that out. There's the power cord, the brick is already in. We have a little stand. If you're developing some movements and stuff, but you want to do it on your desk, you can set it on that. And then, of course, the instructions, but I don't need that because I made Misty. So, let's get this out of the way. Pull this over here. So, again, if you want to charge Misty, let's just get her on the charger so she can get a little charge. Um, plug her in. This cord, if you take the time, you can wrap it up all nice in the back. It's designed to be on your floor, or if you're developing um, on your desk, it's cool if you put the charger there as well. Um, all you have to do is just stick her on the charger. There's a little mark on the side and a little mark on the charger as well. And you'll hear some fans come on when she's charging. So this you should be good to go. There's a little power switch under the back. Flip her on, and we'll see her boot up. It takes a couple minutes, so we'll come back. All right, Misty is fully booted. We know she's fully booted because her eyes are open all the way. That's how you know. Um, if you haven't really checked out Misty before, there's lots of sensors. So we have sensors up here for mapping and navigation. So she can actually map your space. We just released the alpha version of those APIs. We have a microphone array on top for voice interaction, um, speaker system. She has arms that move. She's mobile. She can drive around your space. We got the backpack on the back so you can pull that off. We got serial and USB ports underneath. We also have a backpack that's compatible with Arduino, so you can make your pro Arduino existing projects robot enabled. What else we got? We got LEDs on there, we got sound, we got, so we got like a flashlight, capacitive touch, this panel on our head comes off, you can also 3D print um, something that goes on there. 3D printing, we got CAD models for all these different things right on our forums, so check out the forums uh, documentation. Um, you can find all the models for that online. We're just excited to see what you guys create. I'm really excited. Like yesterday, I just created a skill. Um, the driver here at the factory gets mad when we're late, so I made just an alarm clock skill for Misty that chimes at 6 o'clock to let us know that we need to go out to the van. Uh, I'm going to throw that on my GitHub 
So if any of you guys want to download it and make it create a more sophisticated timer or a more sophisticated alarm, you can use it as a starting point. We encourage you guys to share the skills that you're writing for MISTI on the community and engagement forums as well. So if you go to the MISTI website at the top, there's a link called Engage. Um, you can go up there. I'm on those forums. Uh, a lot of the cool people at MISTI, um, they're also on the forums. So you can ask us questions, exchange ideas if you're not sure what you're going to build with MISTI yet. I'm excited to see what we create with MISTI. I mean, MISTI is a robotic development platform, and this, this is how we get to Rosie from the Jetsons right here. Like when I had my Apple II computer when I was a kid, I played Choplifter and Snake, and today I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4. Like we progressed, right? So this is sort of like the Apple II of robots. We're creating alarm clocks and things like that, but we're gonna be able to get more sophisticated with Misty, especially when you take advantage of the features like mapping and navigation and the voice interaction and mobility. And you connect those things with the APIs on the internet. I'm really excited. This is just the beginning of robotics. This is how we get robots out into the world doing all of the useful mundane things that we don't wanna do. Someday we're gonna have Rosie from the Jetsons and this is the beginning right here. So I'm Ian. I'm in China, signing out. Later.